Pasadena, California. He's a coordinator at Arcadia High School. Ready to get it. not to hold our receivers, right? Trying to stay sound, technical, being able to cover without holding. And that premise is to get our hands off of them so that we can lean and look into our receiver. Just punching with our thumb up and locking out our arms, right? So one thing we do when we start, getting a good defensive stance, inside leverage. When I say punch, we're punching both hands into the armpits, getting our thumbs up, right? And locking out. Punch. Punch. And we're really emphasizing getting that thumb up, right? When we get that thumb up, it helps us lock out that elbow at the bottom. Out of us, shoot both hands, get our thumb up, and lock out our arms. Here we go, sit, punch. Don't lunge, right? One thing we also got to teach is that we're not lunging, right? It's a jab, it's not a, it's not a haymaker. We don't want to lean into that punch, right? When we lean into it, we get our hands knocked down, our momentum is forward, right? We want to shoot a jab, right? When we jab, we stay out of it. Same thing here, right? Thumb up. Stay out of it. Punch. 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 We got Punch. It. Good. Thumb up. Lock out the elbow. Punch. Scoot up just a tad bit. Make sure they're in striking range when we do the drill, right? Because we don't want to use our hands until we can actually touch that receiver. Set. Punch. Good. All right. So our close hand off. So if we're working an outside release, right? What I just worked on was punching. Now he works to the outside. I want to step and replace. And now, once we know where he's going, I want to take that out, outside hand off. Does that make sense? So what it looks like, right? I'll say punch, boom, I'll punch. I'll say work, he'll start to work to the outside. We'll take the outside hand off, step and replace. Punch, work. You got it? Punch, work. We don't want to turn our hips. Look at this hip. Punch. Work. We worked on our punch. We worked on taking off that one hand and, and step and replacing. Now he gets vertical. We want to get that hand off, lean into him, so now we can run with him and we can keep up with that receiver, right? And not play with our hands holding. So the ideal place to be when we're covering a guy is on the bottom shoulder. All right? Because here now I can play through his hands through the top shoulder, right? And I also want to be able to lean into it. So that when the ball's up in the air and I'm in good position like I am now, I can lean it to him and also find the ball in the air. Alright? We dropped it in. Now as we go, we drop the other hand so that we can squeeze and we're able to run. It's a whole lot easier to run with both hands than it is to run with one hand. So then we want to drop that hand and be able to run with both. Make sense? Here we go. Work. Go. So again, we work on certain techniques so that we can, you know stick to our technique, right? So we don't have to hold, we don't have to, 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 to grab, and uh, we can stay away from getting costly penalties, um, and we can execute uh, uh, our coverage in a, in a more sound way. Under the radar sports media, the hottest sports videos in the nation.